Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be from March to April 2021 for the sign of our lovely Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your overarching energy. We're going to focus more on the tarot cards alone and then pull an oracle card at the end, Pisces. So let's get your, your card just flew out. So let's just use that. We have the Queen of Cups. Now this could be you, male or female energy. Can for me be a Cancer energy as well. This can be a sign of Cancer, but can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in a general reading. So there's definitely an energy of, with her, emotional balance, emotional fulfillment, uh, love, romance, relationships. Feels very beautiful. Okay. I'm going to pull three cards, Pisces. The first card is the issue or challenge you face in terms of love, romance, relationships. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the future outcome. Then we clarify, as you know, we always do and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Okay. What do we have for cancer, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. In love, March to April, 2021. So I like the Three of Swords in the challenge position. You know, it's like those two cards want to stick together. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so I like it with the world. Um, it is in the challenge position, but I like those energies together. Okay, so we have the Empress in the Advice from Spirit and the Five of Cups here, Cancer. Okay, so Pisces. Let's pull clarifiers to go deeper into the message for Pisces. In love, romance, relationships, March to April 2021. What do we have? Angel Spirits Guides for Pisces, March to April 2021. Okay, it's interesting that kind of came out that way, which can be some kind of challenge. I'm going to leave it like that, Pisces. We have the Empress with the star, lovely energy. And the Five of Cups, we have the Death card. Bottom of the deck, <laughs> we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Let's clarify this Ace of Wands. Let's clarify what this Ace of Wands represents for you. It's a passionate energy. It's a driven energy. It's something that you absolutely want to take action towards. It is connected to your heart and soul. So what do we have with this Ace of Wands, please, for Pisces? Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Pisces? Can we clarify this Ace of Wands? Thank you. We have the Ten of Pentacles there, Pisces. Oh, bottom of the deck, I've got the Nine of Cups. I did look, so I always put it down if I look. So lovely energy there, okay. So I'm going to just go through these cards now. So interestingly enough, I mean, this could be you. It feels like you. Um, it, she can also represent offers of love. Um, somebody who knows what they want with their heart through experience, you know, it's that kind of energy. So whatever experiences you've been through here, Pisces, there's definitely an energy of this is you. You know what you want now and you see it, you know, when it presents itself, you recognize it. It's that intuitive energy. Something just feels right. Something just clicks. And I'm definitely getting this energy for you, which will pan out in March to April. There's definitely this energy. Again, it can be an offer of love. She is also, it can be from another water sign. It could be also from somebody who represents that. Matters of the heart. Somebody who feels deeply. Somebody who 
you know, connects to you on a deep level. Um, either way, the Queen of Cups is such a compassionate energy. She is a caring energy. She is very true to who she is. Um, it feels like you know what you want and you, you, you will recognize it. So definite positive energy here. It comes, Pisces, after something it feels like has played its course. It feels like some kind of past relationship, past hurt. The, the, the world card is a completion. In the challenge position with the Three of Swords, something is completing. Those swords are coming out now. So whatever hurt you, whatever caused you emotional pain, I mean, this can be also third party situations, can be some truth that came to light as well that cut deeply. You're done with it. You're ready. There's a great feeling, a positive feeling of I am ready, so ready to step through to a new phase of my life. And it feels like this is... I'm ready to draw a line under this situation. You know, I've learnt lessons. And what it's done is it's taught you what you're looking for now and what you're not looking for. You know, it's those kind of like life lessons, isn't it, that just make us grow and evolve and fine tune us to really tapping into recognising what's right for us and what isn't, certainly in terms of matters of the heart. So it definitely feels for some of you, you're absolutely ready. It feels like there was some challenge in a relationship with the lovers coming out this way. It, you know, the lovers can be a blissful, harmonious relationship, perfect match, complementary energies as well, that when they come together, they just fit like a jigsaw. But there's definitely this energy, and I'm definitely getting it, there, there felt like there was some challenge here, but something, there's a major cycle completing, something that felt emotional pain, hurt, truth, third party situations, call it what you will, it's done, it's over, you're leaving it behind. Um, yeah, and you're so ready for the new, and that's what the Empress represents. It might well be you might be re meeting an Empress. I mean, she can be a powerful feminine energy. Um, she is somebody who is who understands who she is. She she's understand somebody who understands how to just be in her own space, in her own light. She lacks for nothing. She is abundant, she is a bountiful energy, she is a nurturing, caring energy. So you might be meeting somebody like this, certainly with this Queen of Cups appearing. Um, as an energy, Pisces, the Empress is the birth of something new. She is, the, the time is completely right, completely right for some kind of new hope, new dream to come your way, new blessing even. And what you've stepped through and left behind, the star is just confirming to you that you are absolutely going in the right direction now towards this level of bountifulness and abundance. She is very good in terms of love, romance, relationships, the birth of new love, planting seeds, the time is right that if you plant the seed, and we do have a seed card here with the ace, so uh, these are the aces, the seeds, that if you take care of them, they grow. So she is asking you to plant that ace of wands. And if you tend to it, care for it, turn your attention to it, it will grow into something beautiful. The time is right, you know. Uh, definitely an energy here of if you really take action towards what the Empress represents now, the promise of something wonderful, where there's real hope, something very much connected to your dreams, you know, you will reap the blessing. You will absolutely reap the blessing here. But the Empress is all about everything. The time is perfect. So if there is an opportunity with somebody new this month, in the next month or two, this is an energy of there's blessings. It's a blessing. This is divine wish fulfillment. And this is confirmed by the wish fulfillment card as well, the nine of cups. Something coming in that's very much connected to your heart's desire here, Pisces. Having gone through some pain, I mean, whether this could have been days ago, weeks ago, months, years, but it's done with now. And you're ready for 
the new to come into your life. And that's what Spirit is telling you. So if there's any hesitation or struggle in finding closure, the Death card is saying, no, now is the time to move on from looking back because there's so much hope and promise around you now. It's time to engage with the cups that are full of potential rather than what's gone. And that is what you're being told here. The death is, it's the time to out with the old and with the new. Um, the end is just the beginning here, Pisces. It feels very, very beautiful here. And it feels like there's new light here. You can see that sun rising. There's new light coming your way. There is new positive energy coming your way. So shed an old skin. This is catharsis, cleansing, purification, shedding all skin because there's a renewed energy and it feels like a renewed love, somebody new coming into your life. And this is something that absolutely, if you take action towards it, you will reap the reward. I mean, this is something that will bring you value in your life tenfold. It's a ten of pentacles. Um, long-term committed relationship, marriage, happy home. It feels very beautiful. Uh, for those of you, I mean, sometimes this can be about moving in with somebody as well. So there may well be opportunities to move in with somebody. Um, but it definitely feels for some of you that the something is right to plant new seeds. And it is going to grow into this, the Ten of Pentacles, long-term committed relationship. Um, so absolutely beautiful energy. And it's exactly where you need to be, this Ten of Pentacles. You know, this is generations of family. You can see there is lineage. It is something that stands the test of time because you're aligning to the right person. It's a card of alignment. It's Virgo energy. And we have Pisces energy. So there's definite energy here, Pisces, on you getting your heart's desire. You being happy, really happy. And this can be reasons to be thankful. This can be where those cups were empty here. Because you are the phoenix rising. Because you accepted endings for what they were. And were open to new possibilities. Those cups have multiplied in terms of being full. And that is the beauty of that energy. So just real happiness fulfillment. And that red hat is asking you to mentally focus, switch on to what makes you happy now. Because this is a really happy, fulfilled, content energy, you know, the Queen of Cups energy. So I definitely feel for some of you, there's new, there's somebody new coming into your life. It's a blessed energy. Um, there's the promise of something really wonderful with this person. So don't self-sabotage by looking in the wrong direction here. Don't self-sabotage by letting the past dominate the present. There is definitely this energy of release. Two, two cards of Scorpio, release, um, allow endings to happen, draw the line under a situation, because if you allow yourself to physically and emotionally move on, there is absolutely new love coming your way. It feels very beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final card. Final card for Pisces, thank you. Final card for our lovely Pisces. Thank you, two cards. Okay, Pisces, you've snuck an extra one in. <laughs> so we have Penguin, Diamond Light Activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. Beautiful. Yeah, you see, Divine Feminine. We have... Uh, the feminine energy is, is our feelings, our you know, warmth energy, you know, male or female energy, but it is an energy of new happiness coming your way. You are being called on to rise. And I did say that with that sun, didn't I? That sun is beginning to rise once more. This is you. This is you beginning to rise again, moving on from the old 
and being ready to shed that old skin finally to really open up to new possibilities and when you do there is definitely somebody around you who you are connecting to that feels very beautiful so i hope you enjoyed the reading pisces if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all and i will see you next time thank you